there's my home button, push that button. That's your home button. Now, yeah, I can slide left, you just slid left. I can slide right, there's a slide right. Go back to the center. Um, you know I have one of these things? So do you. Okay, go hit the home button again. And that's really where you're gonna get stuff. So it starts with four tiles, as they call them. Navi, uh, media, media, phone, and then the, third, the last one is the last one you just used. We just used that prior to this, you guys coming in here. So that'll be the last thing you just used. So this just, one down here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Navi, media, and phone will always be there. And then the thing that you last use will be there, right? On the bottom, four tiles. So just go hit nav anywhere in navigation. There's your navigation screen. There's my recent things. Now I want you to hit um, New York, New York. Um, just hit destination. And then go to recent up top. Go to any one of them. That's fine. Start. And this is just the route is being calculated. Okay, so we're in Please New York. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Right, so we just we just arrived in New York. Now, if we don't stop it, it's gonna to continue to go. Turn around, you turn. Maximize, here's how you stop the route. Maximize. Top left corner, see the flag? Now I here's here's the choice. I want to keep it in my recent, so I don't want to delete it with the garbage can. I want to clear the itinerary right in the middle, down below. Again to confirm. Yeah, there's a, there's a B? Right oh, it's just a beer. You're brave, Good man. Job. All right, so that, that's what he did. He cleared it, right? Mm -hmm. So he cleared it. That's how you stop the, the nav. Now, you notice you got a navy in there, and we're going to be able to tell you how you can change that out. But if you got this, it's going to go POV and make you go this way. Now, if you got it on, put it on 2D. 2D. Press 2D. Thanks. If you go in 2D, maybe it's the car might be going this way, and you got this thing going that way. So in order to alleviate confusion, just put it on 3D, and it's going to have both going the same way. If you need to know direction, look up here in your rear view. Mm -hmm. By the way, auto dimming rear view, underneath you got home link. It's been redesigned that way. So that's the mirror there. Um, now go back to um, the home button. Yeah. Back again. See, it still has the tiles, but push it again. Now go to media. Okay, now here's all your media um, all sources. On the left, under recent sources, FM radio, Bluetooth, AM radio. So, um, let's just go to, uh, oh, so it's on, so right now it's on the exit, right? You see it up there. Mm -hmm. Hit library. Here's how we're gonna do presets. And they're no longer presets, they're favorites. Favorites, you tag them by doing a star. Why, well, these are my favorites. Now go back to channels. I screwed up. It's all right. Go. All right. Now just hit, hit the first one, the star. It's a star. star. Yep. That's it. And then go to favorites, and you should see it on the bottom. Go down. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Go back up. Now we want to get rid of that favorite. Go to edit. It's on very top. Toggle up. Hit the garbage can again. That's it. Now go done. That, that is the way you go back to close, close it. That's the way you do favorites or presets with everything. Go to FM radio. Uh, you hit Bluetooth Try again. Go to FM radio again. One more. Okay. Now, go to, um, go to library. Now, all your FM stations. All right. You hit those, that's a favorite. You can, you and this automatically it. pulls up all the stations. All the stations. Listen right here. That's right. Or you can go close out of there on the right side. Close. See the close button right under the star. Yep. yep. You can go to go to right under library. That manual tune. Mm -hmm. And you can slide back and forth. Ooh, I like that. Or or the bottom one. See that? Oh, see right sure. And if you find a favorite, oh, put so the star on it. Yeah, you find the favorite, put the star on it, and then you got a favorite. There's that. Let's close out of there. Let's go, to, let's, Sorry, go to, let's, go. let's go to my phone. Let, so that's Bluetooth. I've already I've already got the phone here. Audio streaming. Do I have this? Yeah, I have my Bluetooth phone. I'll go to the library. Go there. And there you go. Go to artists. This is music on this your, is all, on your phone. This is all on my phone. Yep. Beastie Boys, you know, whatever you want to do. Pulse Bluetooth.
to um, wait, this is a good one. High Plains Drifter. Right, Turn that up one. right there. This is a good one. This is for the younger demographic. That's a nice one. Um, yeah. And by the way, when you're doing this and you pair your thing, you gotta make sure that your sound is on. Right. Not, well, not really. Um, but your volume has to be on. Mm -hmm. Now, can you, can you pull up the uh, icon? Can you make the icon bigger? Or, you know? No, but you can get them in there. Oh, yeah? Um, so now let's go back in there. Uh, and so we've done that. Uh, now, now go to home button. So we got that kind of guys? Yeah, yeah. Wait, go back into Bluetooth media. Do you want to add a phone? See that little arrow and then that thing? Yeah, hit it. Add a phone. How you doing? Will this have more than one phone hooked up at once? Five. Can they all be hooked up at the same time or only one on one? one. one. Okay. Uh, by the way, you notice your uh, climate control? Mm -hmm. Just go right, left. First go home, go to the home button. And then just flip left and right, right to left. I mean, yeah, it's toggle, yeah, swipe. Look at the climate control is always going to be there. It never leaves there. That's by design. Now once you hit 64, you can go up and down or use the plus or minus to set your temperature. And you okay. just got a text message. Can you make it so the text message shows up? You can. You can do it Android and or iPhone. And after we finish, I can show you walk you through how you do that. Um, okay, so go back to the center again. Uh, the other, uh, yep. Yeah, what he did was <laughs> he accidentally hit the, the second row of the button. Yeah, so, you got to be careful, but that's all right. Um, go to phone. Go, um, Sorry about phone. that, right. So, um, go to my uh, contacts. So now I can hit those as favorites. Right. I don't want to do it. Close out. Just like everything else, it's the same thing, just different. Um, Source, Contacts. recent keypads, you want to change the phone out again, change it out. This is just the call thing. All right, now push the home button. Oh, by the way, one more thing on the climate control. Hit the auto right in the middle. That's going to tell you where you want the blast. You want to, like for instance, uh, just press the fan right in front of the fan there. You want it up there, all, all three of them, hit them. Yeah. Or you want to do it down below, that's it. Slide back the, the max and the minimum, that's it, that's how you do it. And then slide it back all the way to the first one, and then knock those things off. So that's how you control that. Now hit your, um, hit his seat, his seat. So he's got two things, heated seat and heated steering wheel. Oh, you got that heated if you got the inscription, you get the inscription, they're gonna be perforated and they're gonna have one more oh. element that's gonna be close. Okay. Now hit the close button, and I'm going through this fast because I want to show you everything. Okay, thanks. Go to the right now. So there's the first screen, uh, the other way, yep, no, the other way. Try it. Slide. There it is. Now there is your applications. Your applications are already on there, and they're going to be downloaded remotely as you see remote updates when they're available. Mm -hmm. It's cloud-based, so you don't see much population there, right? Just because there's more content that's going to be added for sure as the car, as things become more available. Um, just like an iPhone, again, just like an iPhone, I can move my apps around. The way you do it, before, I'm, before you do it, I'll tell you. Push on remote updates. Wait, not yet. You push on it, you hold it until it changes, and then you slide. You can't replace it. You can slide it, say, up next to Bluetooth. So again, push and hold. You change it, now slide right up in the corner, right up in Bluetooth. Now, uh, well, yeah, you gotta put next to it. You can't, you can't yeah, do it over, it. you can do it next to it. Like that? Yep, let it go. Oh, it's not? Oh, there's something there. Oh, there's yeah. something there. All you right, just, just move it uh, move it to the left. Yeah, anywhere like that. You can, so that's how you- You can move. do that with any of these? Yeah, just, you can take that and move it all the way down. Yeah. So all these can be manipulated because you're going to have a lot of laps on there and maybe you want the clump of them to be up top. So you want your favorites maybe to be right across the top. So exactly. Dunk, 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 dunk. Now let's look at the dipstick because there's no dipstick. Go to car status. There's where your car messages are. Right, vehicle key not found. That we found it. We got it. But it'll give you messages like that. If you have a service thing you need to go through, 
that's going to tell you there. Now go to status, to status. There's your PSI, your tire pressure monitoring, and there is your virtual dipstick right there. Spoiler it says it remembers when you first started it up, the oil level was good. Or is yep. that a current reading up to date right now? It, it just should be a current reading up to date. So if you have a problem, you want to, hey, let me investigate that. Push owner's manual right there. See it? Right above your seat. Hit yeah. Push. It's going to bring you the owner's manual. By the way, I have one in my app. I have one in there, the glove box, and I have one in there. So it's pretty redundant. You can either search, you'll see a flat, yeah, magnifying glass over the right. On the left, push the left by the three lines. You can, again, there's your favorites. If you got a page that I still don't know how to work that lift gate, that, then hit that and you go to your favorites and it'll be there. So it really helps you out. Go back, uh, hit the home button. Okay, so that's vehicle status. Now push again. All right, so the, the last one, the stats. stats. Go to the right again. Um, yeah, I think we can skip out of that. Go to Bluetooth for a second. Okay, let's go back. Okay, push the home button. All right, so we got, the center's got four tiles. The right has got what? Uh, as many as will fit there. Yeah, but what are they? Uh, icons. icons. Applications. 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 Right, right. right? Tiles in the center, applications on the right. If you flick to the left, it's going to be vehicle functions. Now, remember all these things you can turn off, right? You can turn these things off. The only thing you can't turn off that's new this year is called intersection braking. 25 miles per hour or less in an intersection, the, the crash is imminent. It will happen. The car's gonna lock. Pull off your accelerator, take your throttle away from you, go full brakes, and it should stop the car. That's the only thing you can't turn off on this car. Everything else you can. So, auto start stop. Turn and what, it off. What, what you just explained, what was that called again? The, intersection, the intersection? Intersection braking. Okay, and that's not listed here. It's not listed because you can't, you can't turn, turn it, it off. off. You got it. Just, right, so turn off all the top ones. Just turn them all off. Don't, don't, don't. They're all gone. Now let's turn them all back on, including ESC. Now you'll see that, yeah, just tap it once because it'll change functions of the watch. What? No, no. I'll do it again. See? It'll change by itself. See there on the left? Now watch. There it goes. Okay? On the bottom, just toggle down a little bit. There's more functions. You turn off your bliss, all these, active bending lights, all this stuff. We won't mess with that. We already did the headdress fold. Thank you very much. Yep. Anybody have any <laughs> questions? Back, any questions? Uh, yeah, just Daniel, lift it up. It's Daniel. Um, now, also, uh, do your sur wiper service position. Okay, here comes the wipers. Now, look at what's the difference on the hood. Look at that. The last rendition of the XC90 had the nozzles embedded in the hood. Line. You know, every car has the nozzles embedded in the hood. Not anymore. Look at that. Now we have the nozzles embedded right in bed two, and we put two nozzles on each wiper. And then we, we doubled down on the quality of the wiper. Now, why do you suppose we doubled down on the quality of the wiper and we had to put the nozzles there and everything like that? What is What does all the heavy lifting as far as your camera goes? Remember I said there's a main camera? Well, it's going to be wiping. It's going to be taking care of the clarity of the vision right. of the camera. So that's why we said, you know what, we got to really make some serious uh, wiper blades and cover this because he's got to clear this. This is doing the adaptive cruise control and all this other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Now, park in and park out. We're not going to push it, but you can push that and start using that technology, using that feature. Park in and park out is parallel and perpendicular parking. Now, this car has it. It's the vision package, so it's got this and it's got the camera, the 360 camera. So I want you to press 360 camera. There we are. So it's using all our cameras. Remember that side camera? See how wide that is? So it'll go like that, but press it again. Press the car. Now, just like the NFL, let's go to camera two. Go back to 360 view. Let's go to camera one up top. So there you go. By the way, five, five kids per week get either injured or killed.
<laughs> and it wouldn't come off? Well, no. Remember that? We're like, okay. Because it, it'll watch us pull out of that pocket spot yeah, yeah. and go around the building because it's uses satellite, right? No, 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 no it's no. not it satellite. It all the cameras. Yeah, what it is, is that, know, that's the thing. Well, what it's doing is this. This is a gener computer that, generator. That, okay, that is, that is yeah. like an icon. Yeah. Okay. And what it is, <laughs> it's, all the, it's taking all the views of the cameras. You got one, see? Yeah. Right now, you gone. just open that, because, right? Now, if we were to cover any of these cameras, but that's what it is. So it gives you all, this isn't real. All this is real. Right? Giant hand. Oh. Ah. <laughs> that's a transformer right there, right? Yeah. So there, that's what you do. That's it. So that is really, really useful for music festivals and crowded parking lots, small parts of the Any place with drugged up in this. Exactly. Here you go. And uh, now hit the home Dallas button. Street. Okay, so we got the camera. Okay, so we're good with that. Now let's go back to center. So let's do this again. Four tiles. What's over here? Uh, applications. applications. Over here. Vehicle function functions. Right on. Now, last but not least, this is the front part. Go down. You can also do the owner's manual. We won't do that. But we want to get a settings. Now, um, you want to go to my car. Now we want to go to displays. Now you need to widen the shot because we want to show the center area. Now I want you to work this. Hit the center driver display. Right now it says we want to show the map in that center display. Why don't you change it to current media? Now you're going to see, look at the gauges move. Now go to show nothing. Now go back to show map. Watch the gauges move. And this is the beauty of this. Because you don't have fixed gauges, you can do a whole lot more and put a lot more content in that 12.3 display than you could otherwise. Go back now, and there's current media, right? 12.3 inches. This is 12.3 across, this is 9 across, or 9 diagonal. Go awesome back. number memory. What's that? Awesome number memory. Oh, thanks. It's just repetition, thank you. Go to themes. Okay, now I want you guys to look at the 12.3 inch display and I want you to just click on glass, now click on the next one, now click on crow, uh, red toggle, there you go, and then there's it. You see what's going on? Do you see? Yeah, you just got so you can, it. So it's customizable, all right? I like I like uh, performance, red, red. Yeah, that's what I run my You could change it to be all white? Ooh, I like that. Because that's, that's like an iPhone. Yeah, it, it, it really is, that truly is. All right, now go back. Go back again, back here, down low, left, all right? Um, so, you go to themes. Turn this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not themes, um... Okay, uh, go, close out. Um, now go back up to settings. Uh, that, yeah. The settings. And then my car. Steve Hoover. And then uh, go to displays again. Themes. Now, oh wait, not themes. What is it? Go back again. Sorry. Uh, okay, go back. Uh, IntelliSafe. So these are blinds. We're going to turn blind spot on or off. Your lane keep. Hit that. Lane keep. Do you want it to do the warning, the steering thing to warn you if you're going out of your lane or both? You want the vibrate? You can choose it right here. Go back or turn it off altogether. Driver alert control, um, I hate that because it'll pop up and if you do too much of this, yeah. like if you're testing it, it'll go, drivers, you know, driver, you should pull over. And then if you have points of interest, it'll go, stop at Denny's. And I'm like, so I just shut it off. But <laughs> Thank you very much. Go to back again. Okay. And there's other stuff. Can you go back again. Right. Now go to, uh, no, actually, can I see something? Yeah. We were just in the air, we were looking at this. Mm -hmm. Can you swipe to go back? Try. I don't think so. I don't think you can. That's kind of when an iOS that thing. Main, when you're on that main thing, okay. you can do it. But okay. on the, when you swipe down, you can. All right. Uh, where are we at? Okay, park assist. Just go there for a second. And that's how you kind of calibrate. You can turn it on or off. Rear cross traffic on or off. Your camera. If you don't want your tra trajectory lines when you're backing up, you don't have to do it. Back, um, uh, toggle down a little bit. So every time I go to reverse, it's going to give me the camera. 
or if I want to set it to 360, I can do that. So go back, and then let's go to, now we have here, driving mode. Remember I said the fourth one you can do your own? Mm -hmm. That's where you set it. Go to individual driving mode. Again. And all this stuff, swipe down a little bit, toggle down. Look here, you can change your power trim, brakes, you can change the steering, dampen the steering a little bit more, keep going down. So all this wow. stuff you can do. That's how you do that fourth driving mode right here, right? Just like Whoa. that. Go you back. Take some of the other ones and mix them up. Right. Exactly. Up what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's almost. It's like a poke mm -hmm. So um, hit back. And now let's go. Let's go to lights. So exterior lights. Um, you want the corner illumination? That's good to go. That's on or off. Active high beam. You want to hit real fast. Or, or no. By the way, the active high beam is right on your left stalk. Oh, see that? Yeah, that piece, just turn it forward. And look in the dash, uh, keep a little bit, another forward, yeah, boom. See the white A that just came yep. up? That is your automatic, uh, your brights. And they're gonna go on and off for you. Great mountain passes, it just reduces driver fatigue, stuff like that. You don't have to worry about high beams at all? Not at all. It doesn't. Um, wonderful. Just scroll down. Welcome lights, all this other stuff. These all can be set and the timing of them can be set. There you go. Back, go back. Interior lights, alright, this is kind of cool. Um, Ambient. You can do the speed and reduce full. Now go back again. And look what else? Interior mood lighting. So, I got it by theme. Right now, when it gets dark out, going to give you a little red illumination, a little red under here, and then sort of uh, pockets and doors. Right. You're going to get a red illumination. You can change the color. You can change it. Sometimes I, when I want to go Prince, I go all the way to the right. Go Prince. <laughs> Purple red, baby. <laughs> there it is. And then you can also say, I want to just let it change by itself, by temperature. So it's going to change it inside by temperature. You like red. There you go. Let's go back.